I love the grey skies. I'm feeling quite hormonal today. We're just about to check into our second hotel at Bath. The trek here was insane, but let's see our room. I'm so excited. We just had the best whiskey sour, like literally the best whiskey sour that I've ever had in my life. Oh my. Is it nice? Does the shower with the tiles? Oh, big shower head as well. Oh, we have robes. Oh my God, towels on a. No, nope, that's not hot this time. It smells so good in here. Oh, little setup here. We've got coffee machine. We've got these little buds here. This is so good. We've got a mirror. Oh my God, we have a full length mirror. Oh, what's that view? Wow. <laughs> oh, you're cute. You can see the little Christmas oh, shop. This is so cute. Oh, that'll be exhausted. All right, guys, this, this bed looks massive. Oh, wow, it is too, eh? Oh my God, I'm living a dream. We caught a train here, but the train was delayed and we got here an hour later or like two hours later. It was raining. We had to lug these suitcases up two flights of stairs. It actually makes this moment here better. It does. When it was so hard to get here. First thing that we do every time we go to a new hotel is put our passports in the Safe. Safe. Close door and press reset. Enter four digit. Oh, look. Done. Just trying to find a spot to put lay our suitcases because it's so important like to have your suitcases open the whole time you're here and you don't want to be tripping on it. So we've decided they're going to go oh. near the window. I'm just going to pack this one up. this over here. Jazz, you can it's make your... perfect. There. I'm going to move this. So that's why our suitcases are going to lay for two days, or uh, three days. found a restaurant we're walking in the streets for like 30 minutes maybe an hour trying to find a restaurant everywhere's so busy and we went into this pizza shop and like they took ages to like get us to seat and then we sat at a place and it was just like in the middle of a corridor and then we found this place called the huntsman and it's so nice look at this we're the only ones in here at the moment like it we've got some more people we've got some company morning. It's currently 4.57 in the morning, so jet lag is still around. We're going back to curly hair today. Renee's just about to wash her hair. This is half straight, half curly. I'm feeling quite hormonal today. Definitely due for my period. Um, pretty sure I'm late. I think I was doing the 11th and it's now the, the 11th. Jazz is doing the 7th and she still hasn't got it. So you're a week late. This is my outfit of the day. I've got these lighter pair of jeans and then I'm wearing one of my favorite jackets. This hotel that we're staying at, breakfast is included every single night at eight o'clock in the morning. It's 7.30 right now, 30 more minutes. We can have breakfast. Oh. <laughs> I can see someone making their bed. Jazz got a period. So breakfast was average. It wasn't like amazing, but oh. no, but like it was really nice. Like it, was, it wasn't busy and it was complimentary for the hotel. Like it's all free. But like, you know, it's not something that I rave about. But it was nice and the coffee was nice. And like the service was really nice. It was coming over like yeah, everything. Would you like anything else? And like they have a vegan big breakfast on the menu. Like that's so nice. They cater for vegans here. We're really excited for today because we're actually meeting up with a friend from England. That's so cool. I've always wanted a friend from England. <laughs> I feel like there's lots of people here watching that are from, is from England. So it does feel like I have lots of friends. So we're meeting up. Her name's Louise. She actually is on TikTok. So some of you might know her. She's such a vibe, like so authentic. Like just, oh, I just feel like we're gonna get on so well. Like first time meeting her as well. But yeah, she's gonna be a little tour 
tour guide. We need to get some shampoo. We should have brought our own shampoo. I thought shampoo wouldn't make a difference to your hair. I, I literally so thought I could just use soap. And I was like, oh, I want to save room in my suitcase. I'll just use the shampoo that the, the hotel provide. Make a minute. I know. Washing my hair. Like, with soap. I'm like bunching my hair together and it's literally sticking, sticking together. together. Yeah. Like a ball. There's more important things than your looks. Yeah, that's it. It's experiences, it's creating memories. I feel like I'm not normally like this, it's just because I'm like hormonal. Yeah. It just gets to me. Sometimes when you're on your period, little things annoy you, like if a piece of hair is tickling your face, you're like <laughs> I learned that there's no air con in the UK. They just have heaters. I like straightening these little pieces. Because like, I don't know what that hair's doing, you know what I mean? I would love to catch a train and go to Cotswolds, but I'm so scared of that train. I really wanted to get that YouTube video up. Oh my god, when's that due? Tomorrow. Like literally tomorrow. Cute. All right. That's insane. Yeah, I know. It's fresh. It's fresh this morning. Like when you breathe in, I can feel it hit the back of my throat. It's so cold. Look, we have these phone things. If you press buttons, you can get information. You just hold it's it called to a tour guide. Oh, is that? Yep, it's right. like a phone. gonna make a tea but the jug has like sand in it it's 5 30 in the morning i'm just gonna do some editing and then because we have breakfast at 8 a.m it's 7 50 in the morning we're just about to go have some breakfast and then after breakfast we're going to wash our hair and like get ready for the day and finish this video we desperately need to wash some of our clothes because they're starting to smell and also i'm having a problem with my uggs my uggs stink i just sprayed perfume in them i reckon we should get the big vegan breakfast. Time for a shower. Renee and I are very happy today, but if we do come across a little bit quiet, it's because we got period brain. Even though we're living our best life right now, the hormones yeah. still, you know, like to get involved. But we are so happy. We're gonna do some more exploring of Bath. Yesterday was so fun. I know, it's just so lovely. So hey. sweet. Our energies, we just clicked. Like it just made me wanna move here. So we have four hours left of sunlight. Not because we woke up late, because we're doing YouTube editing, but that's okay. I was thinking of getting like a facial today or getting my nails done, like having a pamper day. I would love to get an eyebrow wax same and a mo wax we bought tweezers from the airport but they just snap the hairs they don't even do anything we uploaded the travel vlog this morning and i was like re-watching it and i'm like oh i don't want to do that again <laughs> and i was like oh the thing is i got through it because i knew that i was landing in london how are we going to do it landing in australia, australia. Oh that you're not going anywhere exciting you're going home oh, okay. i'm literally going to start making a bank account and planning another trip yeah and i'm like coming back saving we'll do ireland yeah, like I already have a bank account called UK Travel. We're leaving Bath tomorrow. A bit nervous, gotta catch another train. Like honestly, I wouldn't be nervous if I didn't have my luggage. That's what no, makes me I nervous. Wouldn't. Exactly. I get why when you travel, make sure you're staying in one area for like a good amount of time. The mornings take a lot longer to get ready now that the hair's back to curly. We're going to York tomorrow. We chose York specifically because it's our birthday and we wanna spend York in our, wait, we wanna spend York in our birthday. <laughs> So normally in Australia at like 7.30, it's so busy, but here it's dead. It feels like 3 a.m. and it's 7.30. There's like no one outside. Like it's just weird. so quiet. Five o'clock on the beach, people getting busy. coffees, walking their dogs, being loud. But I, for me, I don't like this. I like it. But I guess because we're so used to Australia being so busy at five. Because like five o'clock, you feel guilty sleeping in. But oh. here I'm like, I don't feel I guilty. I think it's like perfect place for introverts. Renee and I bought this yesterday. Shampoo, Moroccan. Because the shampoo here dried our curls out like... A lot. So I think we told you yesterday. So we this feels good that. though, right? It feels better. That. And then this. This one smells so good. Yeah, it's probably really bad for your hair, but... <laughs> Another thing that we have been doing that's not natural. Drinking a mother. 
Oh, to keep, <laughs> to keep us up. It's the only thing that's like waking us up and helping us through jet lag. This is what's getting us through the Because I had a drink and I was like, I felt wide awake from it. I was like, I feel brilliant. And yeah. so we did it again. And then again. Really so Thoughts on this hotel? We're staying at the Abbey Hotel. It's really cozy. It's really sweet. The room, the beds are so comfortable. You are staying in an older building. So like the hallways are a little like run down, like a bit like, it's kind of like nice. Yeah. It's got character. It's... And then when you have an elevator to your level, so we're level two, you go to the level two, but there's a lot of walking to get to your room in hallways, a narrow hallway. Upstairs. But that, that's giving castle. Yeah. That, that's what happens when you stay in a castle. You're going to be in little hallways and you have to lug your suitcase. Yep. So it's really, I prefer this one over the Randolph, even though the Randolph has five stars. This is a four star hotel, but I Randolph is a lot more expensive. This one was cheaper. I, I think it's just, we're going off like the feeling. The feeling feel better mm -hmm. here. Anyway, let's explore. I'm trying to work out if I should wear my raincoat or my blazer. Is it not raining? It might sprinkle actually. What should we do? Like just go for a walk to the same place as we went yesterday? Yeah, maybe. There's this really nice coffee shop that Louise took us to. We need to get another coffee there. Oh, God, it's go the best coffee. It tasted there. like a coffee from Australia. We just got our coffee. Such a good coffee shop. This coffee is absolutely delicious. Can you hear me? It's a little bit windy. If you're wondering, coffee shop in Bath. I oh, can't remember the name of it, but it's, it's, a, it's at the museum. Yeah, it's I'll put the name. Museum. I'll look up the museum and I'll find the right museum and I'll put the name here. And it's a coffee shop in it's there. It's got G on it. Um, we we're just saying that the coffee lids are so different. It has this little part just there. And I was like, why do they have that little thing there? It's for your lip. So smart. It is. I love the gray skies. These boys that were making it were like, Really cute. It's such a different experience being in another country and like, oh, the boys, like, I don't know. I just feel so like romantic here. I don't know. We're on this bridge right now and see all these water canals. Boats run through these all the time. They're these really long boats. And this has been here for ages. Back in the day, I'm pretty sure, horses used to drag the boats along. And that's why there's like a little area for Park. horses. That's why the um, tunnels just there go really narrow because there has to be room for the horses. Yeah. But now today people just walk along them. Yeah, it's which like we nice... can go for a walk. It's an hour walk. We're just going for a walk along the canal. It's a really nice walk. Very long though, we just turned around and they've got these like boats. Pretty sure people live in them, some of them. It's quite lovely. It's so beautiful. Here. So beautiful, except I've got this really big blister on my foot and I'm just limping, but that's about it. And now my blood is full from the coffee. Just needs so to wee. Sometimes being yeah. a human is annoying. It's a lot. I know, like you got this beautiful scenery and then you, you just got to deal with this pain. Human body. And I've got period pains, I took some Panadol, but so beautiful here. Like this is such a nice walk. If you come to Bath, I recommend this canal walk. We're checking out of this hotel today and the apartment is a mess and we have to leave in about, what time? 30 minutes? It's 6.42 in the morning, but well, we need to have some breakfast and we have a train to catch at 8.13. Anyways, good morning. We're moving from Bath to York and we're spending like five days in York. I'm excited to spend like a chunk of time somewhere. So like, and, and then after that we're hiring a car. So like, I'm very excited to hire a car and not do public transport again. <laughs> like to put my suitcases. It's the suitcases it's for me. It's the suitcases. And we're talking to Louise and we showed her our train tickets and she's like, like, okay, so I highly suggest, highly suggest. suggest you get on the first train, you get off at London Paddington because that's what the train's doing. And then we have to catch another train to London King's Cross, which is another train station. She's like, don't catch that train taxi it to that train from station. Paddington to King's Cross don't go on a tube with you because she's like with your suitcases like not a tube it. and suitcases not good oh I didn't tell you I got my period yeah we're in sync I wanted to show you so I found an ornament for Bath oh wait if you didn't watch all of our vlogs if they're just watching Bath they won't know I'm buying an ornament for every place that I go to so and I want my tree to be full of ornaments and I'll be like yep so this is where I got this and this is where I got this like each I was gonna do country but now I'm doing like, like cities towns cities, yeah. whatever when we went to Oxford I got a squirrel ornament so because we saw our first squirrel in Oxford. And then this one is a mushroom. I chose a mushroom because we saw Louise and Louise loves mushrooms. She's got so much oh, mushrooms. So, and, and she like kind of picked it up too. And it just reminds me of like when we saw Louise in Bath. If I can get this to Australia in one piece, oh. pat me on the back, honestly. Jazz got something really random. She got this hair tie. Yeah. I know, that's the same. Gosh, not good shoes. Like they're pretty and all. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Oh, blisters. And we've done it again. 
I'm not sure how, but Yours they're both closed. Pictures. Anyway, this place was so nice. I love staying here. I'm gonna miss that bed a lot. It was very comfortable. Passports, we got those. If you didn't watch our last vlog, we got this perfume in Oxford as just a perfume to wear for the holiday. So every time we spray it when we go home, it'll just remind us of England and Scotland. Cute. Such a good idea. Thanks, Anna Paul. We're gonna see if we can have breakfast before we go. What is it? 7 yeah. Someone can take snacks. We made it to the train station. What's the time? 7.51 and our train's taking off at 8.13. So we got here 20 minutes early. So I actually like being at the train station this early. It's quiet. Yeah. Oh, I can see a castle. We didn't get a seat, but that's all right. I actually don't mind standing. We're just like in this like corridor where the doors are. So yeah, just opened all the doors. It's good. So we've been standing here for about 40 minutes. We have another 30 minutes to wait. Jazz and I can't believe we made it to the train that's taking us to York. It was a mission to get on this train. It, like it's a mission to get here, but it was also smooth. Like we still got here. It's like the universe was like, here's all these people to help you get to the right place. Don't reckon? Like, it, I don't know how, but I knew the universe was like looking out for us. So we're like, you know what? We'll try and find the tube instead of the taxi. We wish we took a taxi. I know the taxi was hard to find. We asked someone where the tube was and then we ended up finding the tube going under the ground. There was no lifts. The hardest part was trying to get our suitcases down the stairs and then up the stairs. We didn't know what tube to go on. Oh, and yeah. The tube opened and then we like asked someone in there and she was like, I was like, is this one going to King's Cross? And she's like, yeah, yeah, get on. And then we're like, oh shit, get on. And then she's like, oh, this one terminates. You're gonna have to jump on another one. And we're like, oh, oh shit, shit, get off. And then we had to go upstairs, downstairs to find another tube. We got in two tubes. Once we finished up with the tube, we found the train station and then we found this beautiful train waiting for us. We got a really good seat. Our luggage is behind us. You can see. Yep, so we're keeping an eye on that. Next stop is York. And then as soon as we sat here, we just ate all the chocolate that we had. <laughs> so I was like, I need to be replenished. We've checked into our hotel at York. It is so beautiful. York is better than I expected, honestly. York, York is incredible. Like, it's just crazy how this holiday has just like gone up, like up, 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 up. You, like, when you think it can't get better, it just it gets better. Gets better. I'm loving York so much. Like we walk the streets cause we couldn't check in mm. and it's colder here, which I love cause I love the cold weather. It's so funny, it gets so cold that you can't talk cause your jaw gets numb. And they yeah. have Christmas markets. The Christmas markets are still, go still going. Yeah. We had a whiskey sour. Also this hotel that we're staying at, Amazing. We're staying at the Grand in York. So we couldn't check in yet at three because we had to wait two hours. We went to a perfume shop because we're obsessed with perfume, I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we got, we got a perfume each. We weren't actually planning on, we just walked past the shop and we're like, what's this? And then we asked her, um, do you sell this internationally? And she's like, no, just from here. And we're like, done. I think it's sad because we're gonna love it and we, we have know. to come back here to get, to get the perfume. Bathhouse, take this little thing off. That's what it looks like. This is the one I got. I got the Bathhouse Life Is. It smells like someone just got out of the bath and it also smells like, like a little bit like a man as well. Like it's a bit of a unisex moment. And then Renee's looks like this fig and nutmeg cologne. So cozy and warm because it's, it's a very woody. Not sure if it sticks to the skin though. It does. I need to have a shower or like I need to get out of these clothes because really? my period leaked through. <laughs> I got period oh, on my jeans. Yeah. Let's give you a little room tour before we um, say goodbye to this vlog. So sad. We're going to see you in the next one, which is four days in York for our birthday. So we walk through the door. And then this is what we see. Renee's in the tea area with oh, the gel. I really wanted to do washing. Oh no, do they not have laundry? No, they do. Oh, that's dry cleaning price. It's just oh. so expensive. They're all the same price, Renee. 12 pounds to wash one shirt. Oh shit. 12 pounds. You know what? We have a bath. We should do the washing and hang oh my everything God. up. 100. We have a little tea station here. They actually had shortbread cookies, which we've already eaten. And then this is our room. It's really beautiful. It's massive. The bed is huge. We have all this space to lay our suitcases. Oh my god, the view, guys. It's four in the afternoon, so it's starting to get dark. But look at this fucking view. Oh, you can't even see properly. Let me just... I love this bed head. It's like leather. It's very nice. Coming back through here. Oh, the wood. I love this wood. And then we have the bathroom. 
I love when hotels have full length mirrors to check your outfit. Renee's putting the passports in the in the safe. Good oh. job. You already done it? Yeah. Good job. We are staying in 356. Highly recommend this place. It's called The Grand. We're coming to you from the future. This is the current moment. If you're watching this when we upload, we're currently in, where are we? In Edinburgh. Edinburgh. We're in Edinburgh. I just finished editing this video and we don't have an ending. And um, I also want to pop on here to say like really sorry that we haven't been uploading consistently like we said. We decided that we didn't want to waste a second um, on this holiday because we spent so much money on this holiday and we don't want to waste it editing. And I like to put all my effort into editing these YouTube videos. Jazz and I both like to put the effort in. Like we're also doing TikTok and Instagram and that's also been taking up a bit of time. And then to add YouTube into it, it would just be like we wouldn't be... You guys wouldn't even have a vlog. We know that like a lot of you guys understand, but it's just we get some comments that are quite nasty. So we're kind of just t directing this to them. We get mostly love comment. Like, yeah, we love you guys. Like we have the best community. I, I could, I'm so grateful for you guys. Every time we bump into one of you oh, in public, so it literally makes my day. I'm like, oh, fuck, we have like the nicest people following us. Also, I know these vlogs are quite small. Like some of them are only like 15 minutes, but we're doing a vlog for each area as you guys would have clicked on by now. The vlogs are shorter, but you're getting more. Yeah, it's currently like 11 p.m. or near 12 It's midnight. It's midnight. Cool. And we've got to get really early tomorrow because we're catching a train to London. The last leg of the trip. I'm so sad. Yeah. But the you're, you're about vlogs coming. Yeah. Like you're, you're, yeah. You're, you're missing so much right now. Like this is the future. We just want no one to pop on and end the vlog. And oh my god, you're about to see. Body. You're about to see the highlight of the holiday. Like. Oh my god! The holiday. There's some like, good vlogs coming up. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for being here and watching our videos and supporting us. It means so much to us. And I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and get ready for New Year's. Have a good New Year's if you celebrate. Oh, I used to work on New Year's, so I used to hate it. <laughs> you know, if you're really... working on New Year's, I'm thinking of you. And just think about the money that you're gonna get. Oh yeah, you're you're earning the money, and everyone else is drinking their money. So yeah. thank good. you for watching. We'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye. Oh fuck.